In 2005, Uganda embraced the multi-party system of governance to open door for democratic political dispensation. In the 2006 election, Dr. Chizabe Sijewa had been in exile after falling out with his former boss, President Museveni, joined the race for the top job. In the elections that followed, the opposition has been getting less than 45% of the vote even when the numbers are combined. As such, President Museveni and the NRM have enjoyed uninterrupted rule for the 33 years. Gauging from the fact that the incumbent President Museveni will stand again in 2021, the opposition is making efforts to unite to remove Museveni. The inauguration of a new coalition involving Democratic Party DP, People's Development Party, PDP, the Social Democratic Party, SDP, and the Truth and Justice, TJ, pressure group is one step in that direction. The Forum for Democratic Change Party has been reluctant to join the coalition. Some analysts believe that fighting the ruling party with more than one front puts the opposition in a better position to salvage power. NTV sought out Sarah Birete for her take on this political matter. Actual opposition does not have to unite. What opposition needs to do is to make sure everybody is properly organized, they get more MPs, and they fail the 51% for the incumbent. Then they can unite at the rerun. Even if we had 10 opposition candidates and everybody secured 10%, and they safeguarded that, automatically the incumbent will fall short of 51%. However, Rita Achiro, a political analyst and women rights activist, believes the bickering in the opposition will continue to polarize them and make unity hard to achieve. I see and have this feeling that there's a lot of uh, um, building up muscles. You know, it's like people are going to, uh, you know, the, the, the war front, the, the language. About the issue of trust, that maybe the citizenry might not trust the opposition. But you can only be trustful or trustworthy if you're not putting your interests first. The reason why TDA and even other coalitions have not worked in the past is because we all go in there or people go in there to see what, what is it in there for me. The issue of continued fronting of particular opposition figures as their candidates for change also affects the opposition's chances. We have examples in Ghana where parties had to come together under a coalition, latest is Gambia, to remove parties that had taken long in power and shrunk political space for mobilization. So we don't have a leveled ground for anybody to say, I can do no more party work, I can mobilize my members, I can hold party activities, I can hold rallies, I can recruit. We know that these political liberties are being infringed on by the state. So given that context, nobody can do it alone in my view. A new entry to the opposition against NRM is the People Power Outfit, the brainchild of Chadondo East MP Robert Chagulany, who is commonly known as Bobby Wine. So what difference will the musician, one raised in the Kampala ghetto, create in the 2021 election? The star is shining brighter at the moment. In the next elections, youth voters alone will be more than 8 million. So anybody with the capacity to rally majority youth in this election might carry the day. I asked the analyst what the opposition should do to capture power. If we see these men who have been there forever standing down for one person, that is where the issue of trust then will start building up. Some say it's too early to determine the general outlook of the opposition ahead of the 2021 polls, but time is not their best ally. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.